to the Love Lab. Today, we are making cream cheese chicken enchiladas. I love this. I love enchiladas, and you start, when you put the cream cheese in there with it, it just takes the flavor to another level. So I figured, why not share one of my favorites with you? <laughs> Let's jump right in. All right, right here, I'm starting with my sauce, okay? Now, I do my sauce a little differently. I guess I should call them Calabama style, because you know, I don't just take the enchilada sauce from the can. It's, to me, it's not quite thick enough. So I start by melting a little bit of butter and adding in some flour. Basically, I'm making a roux, okay? Because I want to thicken it. So I'm gonna let this get this butter melt down. And once we get the sauce made, then we're gonna go to our filling, which is gonna be our chicken mixture. And this looks so good. I actually have some chicken thighs here that I cooked, I poached, and I cut them up. So I'm really, really excited about that gonna be amazing. Shortcut, you can also buy a rotisserie chicken and just debone it, you know, take the chicken off and stuff. Yeah, it's options, baby. Option. There's so many ways to do it, you know what I mean? Okay, butter's looking good. Two tablespoons of flour. I'm not trying to make a thick roux. I just want it to have, I don't know, I just, I like my stuff to kind of hold on, you know? And to me, when the enchilada sauces are really thin, they don't hold on. Yeah, I just, and, and I, I just find myself feeling some type of way about that. And I realized that I have the power to change it. And that's what I did. All right. <laughs> so basically I'm just cooking the flour in the butter or whatever fat you choose, but butter I recommend, the flavor's great. And I just wanna cook it until the flour, the raw flour taste is gone. We're not trying to make this a dark room. We're just using this, it's gonna be our thickening agent, okay? So here we go. Starts to smell a little nutty. Now we're gonna add a little bit of water in here. Okay, I'm just gonna start with about a cup. I have two cups in here. I'm gonna make this a chicken broth water. So, you know, I'm always using um, these concentrated chicken broths and whatnot. So this one is a collagen one I've started using to see how I like it. I'm gonna put a nice generous squeeze of that in there as well, okay? And start whisking this together. Oh yeah. As this comes to a boil, it's gonna get nice and thick. I'm gonna add a little more water to this, like so, okay? There we go, make sure that's got a nice mix to it. Oop. And now I'm gonna add my enchilada sauce, okay? And here I'm just using the whole can of enchilada sauce. And I'm telling you, you might think, well, just pour the enchilada sauce on. You can, but trust me, this is so much better, okay? And now I'm gonna add in some cream cheese. I've got about six ounces of cream. Yeah, cream cheese, sounds like, wait, is this cream cheese? <laughs> And I actually already have it at room temperature and softened, so it'll be much easier to blend into the sauce. All right? Okay, now that we've got everything in there, just gonna whisk it up, get it to a nice smooth consistency and a nice boil, and we'll be good to go. If you need more water or you say, oh, you know what, I want a little bit more, you can add additional water. There's two cups here to work with overall, but I usually only need one cup, cup and a half. But I like to have two just in case, right? Because ain't nothing worse than needing two cups and only having one. You just feel like everything's wrong. <laughs> oh, this looks good. Oh, and see how it's got just a little more, a little something to hold on to? You know, kind of like hips. You know, need a little something to, okay. Y'all know what I mean. Everybody looking like I'm crazy, but you know what I mean. Now I'm gonna take this spoon and just give it a little taste to make sure I like what I'm working with, okay? a little bit in. See here. Oh, yeah. Hello. And just like that, the sauce is about done. Turning my heat off. And I'm going to set this aside and do the filling. That's how easy it is. Okay, let's move on to the filling. So our sauce is ready. Let's work on the filling. In here, I've got, this is actually four cups of boneless, skinless thighs. I recommend chicken thighs, I always do, because they have the best flavor and they are juicy, baby. Okay, so here we've got clean spoon. I chopped this up, all right? And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start with the cream cheese. We're gonna add our filling. And I put, this is only about two ounces of cream cheese in here. And you know, cream cheese and I, we have started some type of relationship apparently, and we're still, we're, I, don't, I think we're past dating, but I don't know because I really like it and it really likes me. It just mellows things out in such a way that's just beautifully rich, you know what I mean? I'm gonna add some chili powder on this, okay? You can always just use plain taco seasoning if that's what you have. 
I'm out of taco seasoning today, so I'm creating my seasoning. Some cumin. I'm trying to be cute and sprinkle. Not sprinkle, sprinkle. You put this stuff in here. How much do you put in? Yes, enough. Put in enough, okay? And here I've got a little garlic powder. I'm gonna add in there. All right, and then I've got some saison. I don't know if I said that right, but it sounded fun. So saison. This stuff takes your cooking to another level. I can't use it on all the things some people use it on. Some people just use it on everything. I can't roll like that. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much for me, but it's good. When I'm making Mexican food especially. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Now, see how good that's coming together and looking? Oh yeah, and there's a lot of good salt also in that saison. I'm gonna put one more pack of saison in here. And then we're gonna also add some sour cream, okay? And that's gonna give us a really nice consistency for the filling to our enchilada, okay? And I've got about a half a cup or so here. I'm just gonna put in enough to make it not be dry. You know what I mean? So we'll add more if we need it. Uh, and the cream cheese and sour cream together. Woo! Now, if you don't like cream cheese and sour cream, you don't have to do it this way. This is just how I do it. See how that sour cream helps get some moisture in there? That's what we want. All right. And now we're gonna go to our shredded cheese. And I just got a whole bunch of shredded cheeses in here. All the, the cheddars and everything. I'm just gonna put a big, nice hunk in here. And the rest of this is gonna go on top when we, you know, put everything together. So here we go. Oh yeah, that looks good. And this is our enchilada filling. Now you know what we have to do. Amen, we gotta taste it. Spoon. See? Mm, more mm, mm, mm. This is coming together nicely. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. A little more sour cream. Ooh. This is hitting spots. I knew I was gonna need three sazones, that's why I got them out. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm a church going. I believe. Okay, here we go. I'm telling you, you know what else I like about that saison now? That nice color. That little orangey color. All right. I'm gonna hit this with a little salt just to make all the flavors wake up. Wake up, flavors. Wake up. I'm in my house. I'm in my house cooking for my family. I can use a spoon. My house, my family. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Mmm. Ooh. Whatever I did that last little round hit the spot. All right, now let us get ready to stuff our enchiladas. All right, guys, we've made our sauce. We've made our filling. Now it's time to stuff and get ready to bake. Got a nice little dish here. I felt like this dish was pretty, so I decided to use it. <laughs> gonna start by putting a little bit of this good sauce here on the bottom, okay? And that's gonna give it something to bake in. Still something to hold on to. You don't have to do too much on the bottom. I'm gonna put more on the top, but it just kind of helps, you know. You know, you want it to be covered. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this over here. Here are my flour tortillas, okay? We're gonna take a scoop of the filling. Y'all know I overstuff everything, okay? So just be prepared for the overstuffing that I'm about to do, because that's just how I roll. And everybody likes it because they come over and keep eating, okay? So there, let's put, a lot, put enough in there. And then I'm gonna roll it just like this. And that's it, you don't have to over roll these. That's one thing I like about enchilada. All right, and then set it down. Oh my goodness, what is this? Okay. Or one for mom. Mm, it's so good. Oh, and you guys, I have to mention, I added some cilantro to the mix when I turned the camera off. I said, oh, no. I forgot to put the cilantro in. So not to be defeated, I did. And I'm telling you, 
and roll. Okay? And this is it. You're gonna do this to your fill your pan up, or use up all your filling, whichever comes first. And uh, whatever you have left over, get you another pan and some more tortillas or whatever, and just keep going and make it good. My kids are gonna love this. Here we go. My pan pan filled up perfectly with these enchiladas and I use pretty much all the mixture, so oh well, no extra. All right. <laughs> but these are really filling, so it'll be good. All right, I'm gonna take my extra sauce and go all over the top. This is why you wanna make sure you have enough sauce because you don't want this to be dry. You understand what I'm saying? See how I'm doing that? And then I'm gonna spread it all over like so. I might save a little bit here if I have it in here, but nah. <laughs> what would be the point of that, fam? <laughs> Let's just get it all on there. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be so good. All right, here we go. Now that we've got our sauce on here nicely, everything is covered and saturated. We're gonna go back with some more of that cheddar cheese or the shredded cheese. I've got some Monterey Jack in here. I got a little everything in mixed up in here. I do, I just, you know, whatever I can find, I just, well, my hands found it to, to shred. They shred it with all their might. And we're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven. You can do 375 if your oven tends to run a little different, but 350, 375 for about 20 minutes, okay? Because technically, everything is done. Technically, okay? There's no raw eggs in here or anything like that. Sauce has been cooked fully, everything. But what we do want to do is let everything get warmed all the way throughout. And like the sauce gave us something to hold on to, we want to have, you know, give it some time to get in there. So go ahead with the cheese. Don't get stingy now. Don't, don't try to cut calories now, y'all. We in it now. <laughs> We're going to bake this for about probably 20 minutes, maybe up to 30 minutes, okay? It's gonna depend on how it gets done, um, and how it's coming along, but usually 20, no more than 30 minutes. All right, into the oven this baby goes with her fine self. Go ahead, girl. Let's get it in the oven. Well, family, this pretty baby, this fine baby, was in the oven for 35 minutes. I took her out and I looked at her, I had a little conversation, you know, then I sprinkled a little cilantro on her. Maybe. She said, I want a little more power. And I was like, okay, baby, I got you. <laughs> and I tried to let her cool off a little bit because she's a hot mama. Um, and I did the best I could, but I have to get into this and see it because this looks absolutely amazing. So I tried to let it cool a little bit. I'm going to see if we can kind of score a little bit of one. Look at that. You see those ends? How those ends are baked up? That's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to just kind of get in here a little bit to. I just want to go crazy. Look at that sauce. Look at that. You see that? I just, I really just want to have no proof and just go for it. But, you know, I, I was raised there. So, we're going to try something real different here. Here's what we're going to do. You see how I cut that piece? Okay. I, I don't have a feeling this is going to work. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take one for the team. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. You know what, it's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta just go in and mess up the first enchilada so we know how it's gonna taste, right? And it might as well be me. I mean, since I created this, oh my Jesus, look at that. Do you see what is here? Okay. Thank you, Jesus, 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 amen. It's hot. I don't want to burn my tongue and have people talk about me. I would talk about me. I just had an experience that I don't have words for. I'm making it a lot like this for a minute. But this is the best. Okay. Um. Yeah, thanks for joining me. Seriously, make this baby right. Girl, you fine. You fine and you know you fine. And you taste good too. I don't have any other words. Um, yeah, so thanks for joining me today, fam, in the Love Lab. Um, I'm gonna go 
whole handle this whole situation because this is off the chain okay <laughs> this is so good it's crazy thanks for being with me i'll see you guys next time right back here in the love lab for more calabama cooking with your girl chef Lawrence. that's me i'm no cool girl